Hello and welcome to this ArtCam 2013 video tutorial. In this video I will be creating the flower you can see on screen. Using a combination of free relief modeling, texture flow and the new distort tools. As well as this, it will be created from only two bits of clip art, one of which we will create ourselves. Let's begin the tutorial. The first stage is to create one of the petals for the outside of the flower. You can see here I have some vectors set up ready to use for two rail sweep. I will perform two rail sweep twice, once to create the base of the petal and again to create the texture on top. It is important to create the two two rail sweeps on two separate layers. This gives you more control upon how the two layers interact. Here you can see my petal starting to take shape. I will finish by using the sculpting tools to give a better finish to my petal. I will now merge these layers to create one petal. I can now add this layer to my clip art library, ready for use at a later time. I will now use a combination of free relief modeling using the cookie cut tool and the relevant transform tools, as well as the new distortion tool. I will create a ring of petals that will form the base of my flower. You can see here, after some modelling, my completed petals layer. Using free relief modelling, the new distortion envelope and some sculpting tools. I will now create the centre detail for the flower. To do this, I will create a circle in the centre of my flower. Distort it using node editing to give it a more natural look. Ensuring to cover all of the intersections of the petals in the center. Creating a new layer, I will use the shape editor to create the center base. Using sculpting tools, I can add some more detail to give a more natural look. I will create another new layer to put my center detail on. I will do this now by using a preset bit of clip art from the clip art library and using the texture flow tool. I 
I will now create some additional stamen for the centre of my flower, just to give some more detail. Using the same leaf clip art as I used for the centre of the flower, and some more clip art that I will create myself. You can see then, after merging all of my layers together to form one completed layer, that it is very easy to create complicated reliefs from just a few simple bits of clip art. Using the same clip arts again over and over, but distorting them to different shapes and using the transform tools that are available. This is a very powerful tool and many effects and designs can be created using this. I invite you to experiment yourself and see what you can create.